All right, Buenos Dias, mis amigos. All right, today I'm going to try to do my best to explain three parables in Luke 19, Matthew 25, and Matthew 20. And the the reason for this is because uh, it seems to me like there are people that are teaching this idea that they will be rewarded with extra stuff in the kingdom to come. All right, in other words, uh, if they do, you know, good things, uh, they will have extra rewards in the life to come hereafter. And that's that's absolutely evil. And it's unbiblical. It's a lack of understanding. It, it's just wicked is all uh, it, because it's pure evil, I think it's important to talk about. Um, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to attempt to make it easy to understand. All right, and I'm going to try to keep it real simple. Now the parable in Luke 19. Uh, I guess I, I reckon I ought to just read it. And um, yeah, let me read it first, okay? No, wait a second. Let me think about this. Let me explain it first. This parable is talking about faith. All right, it's not talking about rewards in the life to come hereafter. All right, so let's let's read. I'll I'll expand upon that a little bit here in a second. Starting in verse 11, and as they heard these things, he added and spake a parable because he was nigh to Jerusalem, and because they thought that the kingdom of God should appear, uh, that I'm sorry, that the kingdom of God should immediately appear. Keep that in mind, because they thought that the kingdom of God should immediately appear. He said, therefore, uh, <laughs> all right, just from the con, just from the simple explanation point of view here that they thought the kingdom of God should immediately appear he said therefore meaning that this is not an example of rewards bonus rewards to come in the life hereafter okay let's continue he said, therefore, a certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. Now, I also just want to throw this in here. The kingdom of God is at hand. Alright. Mark chapter 1 verse 15 and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Alright. The kingdom of God is at hand. Luke 21 is a prophecy of the end of the world. And uh, so when you see, you know, the sun being darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken and Jesus appearing in the clouds of heaven and so here it says, when ye shall see all these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. All right, so th this is not too different. This is not a contradiction. The kingdom of God is now, and the kingdom of God of eternal life is forever. Okay, it's eternity, and so those of us that are born of God now, we have eternal life, and the fulfillment of that is at the end of the world when we are transformed if you will into our glorified bodies 
when we are in a moment in the twinkling of night the last trump the trump shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise first then we which are alive and remain shall be caught together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord this is when the uh, we take off our corruptible flesh our mortal flesh and put on incorruption and immortality all right so right now we have eternal life those of us that are born of God all right, that it can never change so the, therefore the kingdom of God is at hand and so therefore when it says repent ye and believe the gospel this is in reference to being born of God and the fulfillment of that comes at the end of the world when we are changed all right so in Luke 19 but his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying we will not have this man to reign over us all right uh, and just to give you some examples here uh, I'm hoping I make this easy to understand. All right, I just want to use uh, one example here in, in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 25. For he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. He must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. So it's important to understand that Jesus Christ reigns right now. And here we have citizens saying we will not have this man to reign over us and we see that example happening more so today than ever before anyway so and it came to pass that when he was returned having received the kingdom then he commanded these servants to be called unto him to whom he had given the money that he might know how much every man had gained by trading all right so don't confuse this kingdom having received the kingdom don't confuse this with the life to come hereafter view this in regards to faith all right otherwise you're gonna get screwed up and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna confound you later at the end of this video you're gonna be completely confounded if you don't look at this the correct way then came the first saying Lord thy pound has gained ten pounds and he said unto him well thou good servant because thou has been faithful in a very little thou have thou authority over ten cities the second one came saying Lord thy pound has gained five pounds and he like and he said likewise to him be thou also over five cities now these two examples here are again examples of faith all right you think of um, maybe I can give two examples here if you have the um, faith what's that uh, oh how's that how's that worded here and Jesus said unto them because of your unbelief for verily I say unto you if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed ye shall say unto this mountain remove hence to yonder place and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you alright so if you have a little bit of faith it can grow into a lot of faith and so this is the example given here in Luke 19 because they had a little faith it grew into 10 pounds or into 5 pounds and this is an example of faith because thou has been faithful alright that's that should be a huge clue this is about faith alright and if you have faith then God will increase you all right, so let's continue. And right now, okay, so don't, well, I'm telling you right now, do not do not fall for this idea that in the life to come hereafter, you're going to have a more money than 
me okay just to give you an example don't think you're gonna have more money than you know your wife or your your neighbor don't think you're gonna have more in the life to come hereafter than somebody else because you're not all right and and if you think that this is what this is talking about you're gonna be completely confounded here in a little bit all right and another came saying Lord behold here is thy pound which I have kept laid up in a napkin for I fear thee because thou art an steward a steward man austere 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 see I don't know English for I fear that thee, because thou art an austere man, that thou takest up that that thou layest not down, and reapest that that thou did not sow. And he said, and he, I'm sorry, and he said unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man taking up that I laid not down and reaping that I did not sow wherefore then gavest not thou my money into the bank that at my coming I might have required mine own with usury and he said unto them that stood by take from him the pound and give it to him that has ten pounds and they said unto him Lord he has ten pounds for I say unto you that unto every one which has shall be given and from him that has not even that he has shall be taken from him all right so this is always this is in regards to faith all right you're gonna hide your faith or you're gonna grow your faith all right this is not this is not about you know making money and this is not about uh, capitalism, okay? If that's what you think, you're going to be completely confounded in a, here in a little bit. But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. All right, so these, the people that are, that have uh, no faith, that will not have the Lord to reign over them right now they will be killed right? and we know that we know that uh, all throughout the Bible the great day of the Lord judgment day is coming all right and so let's go to Matthew 25 we read a very very similar parable for the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods and unto one he gave five talents to another two and to another one to every man according to his several ability and straightway took his journey that he I'm sorry then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them over uh, made them other five talents took five talents made other five talents and likewise he that received two he also gained other two but he that received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money again the same thing now this is re in regards to faith all right you have a little bit of faith you can profit from that faith and grow it it's not about money it's not about capitalism if you think that um, you're gonna be confounded here in a little bit this is not in regards to bonus rewards in the life to come hereafter after a long time the Lord of those servants comes and reckons with them and so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents saying Lord thou deliverest up unto me five talents behold I have gained beside them five talents more his Lord said unto him well done thou good and faithful servant thou hast been faithful over a few things 
I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. All right, again, it's talking about right now. If you're faithful right now. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Right now, this is in reference to right now, if you are faithful and you have been given the faith from God and increase that faith right now then he which had received the one talent came and said Lord I knew thee that thou art an hard man reaping where thou hast not sown and gathering where thou hast not strawed and I was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the earth lo there thou hast that is thine. He had faith, but he didn't do anything with it. He's not doing anything with it. And because he's not doing anything with it, and he's hiding it, and he's ashamed of it, his Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sowed not, and gather where I have not strawed. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers. And then, at my coming, I should have received mine own usury. Take therefore the talent from him, and give to him which has ten talents. For unto every one that has shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that has not shall be taken away, even that which he has. Now, real quickly. Um, what was, okay, real quickly, I want to focus on that word abundance. I'm going to, I just want to share a verse here. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, what's the verse I'm thinking of here? I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly talking about right now no right it's not talking about in the life to come hereafter but right right now right now yeah right now and cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth when the son of man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divides a sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand and the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right, Come ye blessed of my father, and inherit the king prepared for you from the foundation of the world. All right, so uh, uh, it goes on and on and on. Okay, so should I continue or not? All right, so the, look, if you want to, if you want to read this, I want to try to keep this quick. But this is the judgment here. We've got the judgment here, and the judgment is when the Lord Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven, and this here is in reference to right now and having faith now. To hammer this home. Let's go to Matthew 20. Alright, keep in mind. You do not get bonus rewards for all eternity. Alright, if you believe that, let me ask you this question. What reward do you imagine you will have? What advantage will you have over me for all eternity? Alright, I want to... I want to know. Leave your comment in the comment section below 
and tell me what advantage will you have over me for all eternity if that's what you believe just be honest about it all right so matthew 20 for the kingdom of heaven is like another man that is in the householder which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard and when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day he sent them into his vineyard and he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said unto them go ye also into the vineyard and whatsoever is right I will give you and they went their way again he went about the sixth hour and the ninth hour and did likewise and about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing idle and says unto them why stand ye here all the day idle they say unto him because no man has hired us he say unto them go ye also into the vineyard and whatsoever is right that shall ye receive so when even was come the lord of the vineyard say, says unto his, his steward call the laborers and give them their hire beginning from the last unto the first and when they came that were hired about the eleventh hour they received every man a penny but when the first came they supposed that they should have received more and they likewise received every man a penny and when they had received it they murmured against the good man of the house saying these last have wrought but one hour and thou hast made them equal unto us which have borne the burden of the heat of the day but he answered one of them and said friend I do thee no wrong does not thou agree with me for a penny take that take that thine is and go thy way I will give unto this last even as unto thee is it not lawful for me to do what I will with mine own is thine eye evil because I am good so the last shall be first and the first last for many be called but few chosen are right, again this is a great example of what happens when the Lord comes in the clouds of heaven we all receive eternal life we are all clothed with our glorified body we all receive the same no man has an advantage over another man we all have incorruptible immortal bodies whether you were a lifelong Christian or if you gave a deathbed confession believing in the Lord Jesus Christ the man on the cross that did not believe until minutes before he died will be rewarded the same as the lifelong Christian that lived from the time he was a child till he's a very old man as a servant of the Lord they will receive the same okay and we will be equal with no advantage over another man in the life to come hereafter imagine if you will just for a moment we're in our glorified bodies we are on our new on the new earth there's a new heaven and here imagine this is this what you believe that that I'm gonna be living in my in a little shack just a little dinky little wooden shack and right next door to me is you and you've got this great big huge mansion or is it going to be the other way around you're going to be in a little shack and I'm going to be in a great big huge mansion for all eternity is that heaven no that's hell that's torment for it the rest of eternity one man's gonna have a great big huge mansion and another guy's gonna have a little sneaky shack that's not you'd have no idea what's going on no idea. if that's what you believe you have no idea what's going on and you don't deserve either